Hi everyone! During our previous tutorials, we've created a customized income statement. Then, we added target slash budgets panel to our financial dashboard. Then, we added conditional formatting to the hospitals that are below or above the targets by different criteria, such as revenues, gross margin in dollars and percentage value, margin after payroll in dollars and percentage, and EBITDA in dollars and percentage value. Then, we made an assumption that we would like to see the profit and loss statement for each hospital when we will be hovering over this or that hospital inside the state of California. Then, we decided to add a description to the hospital that we are currently looking at. What is the zip code, county, owner, city, phone, CEO or address? Next step was adding budgets and actual stable inside the tooltip. Now, I want to add variance analysis for the revenues, gross margin, margin after payroll, and EBITDA. So this will be the topic of our today's tutorial. This playlist is about how you can build PL statement dashboard from scratch for a healthcare business. This set of tutorials will be helpful for the business owners who currently build weekly or monthly reports in Microsoft Excel, combining different sets of raw data such as payroll, revenues, vendors and many many other raw data reports. Usually, business owners waste a huge amount of time creating pivot tables in Microsoft Excel, linking different files, Google spreadsheets and so on. It's always a nightmare to add a new portion of the raw data to our current report to be able to see the trends. Plus, you can make mistakes in formulas while working with your files, so this is a real nightmare. The result from this set of tutorials will be very valuable for you, because you will just have to add a new lines of raw data to one Excel file. This Excel file will be serving as a data source. Pay attention without writing any Excel formulas, and all new data will be automatically added to your Power BI financial dashboard, and you will see profit and loss statement for the new month or new week period. This will take you just several minutes to add a new portion of the raw data lines in Excel data source and refresh your Power BI dashboard. Very simple, very convenient, extremely fast, no mistakes. This will blow your mind, I guarantee. In this playlist, I'm showing how you can smoothly migrate from Microsoft Excel to Power BI reporting environment. Revenues, costs, income statement, budgets versus actuals, variance analysis, everything will be covered. Especially, profit and loss statement is very important, because it shows us all the picture of your business. In this set of tutorials, we are building income statement from scratch. All links you will be able to find in the description of this video. Let's assume we have a network of hospitals, and we need to build a consolidated profit and loss statement for each of these hospitals separately, and for all of them gathered in one income statement. All our data is imaginary. All files that I used here are public. I also changed the names and values in PL rows. So, what are the assumptions? Assumption number one you are a business owner. Assumption number two you need to create the reporting environment that will show you the structure of the revenues and expenses for your business by specific criteria. For example, office location, county, city, zip code, region, profit center, manager, or anything else. Assumption number three. Every week or month, you have to upload a fresh portion of the revenues and expenses transactions into the reporting environment to be able to see the trends for your business. Assumption number four, you don't have financial analyst or SQL engineer or data architect in your team. And final assumption number five, you have just basic knowledge of Microsoft Excel. If all of that is about you, this video and playlist and the whole channel is about you. You will find lots of interesting and useful things here. Hit the subscribe button. My name is Peter Pakulski and welcome to our channel. This channel is for the business owners who want to know more about their business. Here we will be building interactive reporting environments from scratch. I will be making different assumptions while building our dashboards and then we will bring them to life together. All the tutorial links are placed down below in the description. Data set will also be in the description. Links on other tutorials are placed in the description as well. If you find value in my content, kindly remember to tap the like button and subscribe. Share this video with your friends who have their own business. You can also order building Excel decision making tools for your business, Power BI dashboards and other financial models. 
We will start with creation of new column for the variance analysis in dollars. Let's copy the previous column's header and rename it variance dollars. We can also assign specific color for this column. So this entire column will be showing variance analysis only in dollar value. That's why we need to leave three cells empty. That will be gross margin in percentage, margin of the payroll in percentage, and EBITDA in percentage. We can copy the raw header shape and assign gray color to the background. Now moving to the variance analysis measures. Click new measure. The name will be variance dollars revenues. In this formula, we will be using only measures – revenues totals minus card revenues value. By the way, I will place all the tutorials on how we created all these measures in the description of this video. We will assign dollar format for this measure and put it inside measures table. Moving to gross margin in dollars. Gross margin in dollars 
minus card gross margin dollars value. Next parameter is margin of the payroll in dollars. margin after payroll in dollars minus card margin after payroll in dollars value. And finally, moving to EBIT double variance in dollars. EBITDA in dollars minus card EBITDA dollars value. Now we can go to the first step and hover over the map where all the hospitals are located. Now we can see how Brian's analysis in dollars works on the dashboard. If you find value in my content, can't remember to tap the like button and subscribe. Share this video with your friends who have their own business. You can also order building Excel decision making tools for your business, Power BI dashboards and other financial models. Thanks for watching, see you next tutorials and follow us for more.